Okay, how do I know if it's recording? If it starts counting up? Yeah. Go. So, Black Hairs here at the Agenda in Portland, August 17th. How are you feeling, Mr. Frontman? Feeling awesome. The, we had a great show. Crowd. Demon eyes. Love this. Avis Headland. They're playing right now. I'm sorry, Mom. Now there's some, uh, I didn't mean to say. I didn't mean to say. Demon eyes. On camera. <laughs> I'm sorry. Some paramedics going by. Zach is it. Demon eyes. <laughs> so there's a little bit of restrictions letting you in earlier, but uh, we took right. care of that. Yeah. Voters let you in. All so, right. So everything went smoothly. Yeah. yeah everything was great. So uh, Zach. There you go. Zaggy, yeah. What uh, made you want to start your screaming vocal career? Uh, I went to Warped Tour 2009. Um, Don't get uncomfortable with me getting close. <laughs> it was basically uh, the band Chiodos that kind of influenced me to do it. Um, it's I'm getting like, cinematic on this like, bitch. Like with frontman Craig Owens is kind of like he was playing a ball. He was playing a game of catch of, of energy with the crowd. And it's kinda like going back and forth that that fascinated me. And from then on I was like, I wanna sing in a band. Well, at first I was just like, I wanna play in a band, you know, like maybe drums or something. And then rock band came out. I started singing, I love to sing. I figured out I wanted to be a singer. And I practiced my screams a ton. After school I pretty much come home and Okay, I pretty much come home and uh, play rock band. I was kind of a homebody because I just be practicing all the time. Yeah. So yeah, we got a lot of shows lined up. <laughs> so 11, 11 months in, we're uh, we already got a Seattle show lined up, and uh, so you what do you say to play play in Vegas soon, huh? Yeah, dude, I'd love to, especially for my. 21st birthday, I think that'd be cool. I think we're ready for that drive. Alright. Alright! We're gonna we're gonna cut that out, maybe. I think I wanna keep it in, I don't know. But uh yeah, so what's throw me some other questions, man. Alright, Zach, I got another one. When you first met Jared and I, what did you think? Forming black hair and everything. Uh well, talking about on, on Craigslist, I was kind of worried back when I didn't meet him. Just because I'm meeting someone on the internet, you know, I didn't want it to be a pedophile. But but then when I when I met Jared, I saw he was the guy who was actually on Facebook. And honestly, what was happening was uh, you thought we were going to fornicate you. <laughs> you. So I said, hey, how about a group of people meet you at the lake to make things uh yeah. I didn't think you. I was just making sure you weren't killing it. And then I and then I saw you. You were normal. I saw James. He looked normal. I I and I was like, you know what? I think I'm I cool with it. When, when we met you, my mom's like, yeah, I can tell these guys are good. Go ahead. Because I brought my parents. Because I right. didn't want to be. Little raped. do they know I whack it like eight times a day. But anyways, next question. I don't think you want that in the video. I whack it more. So. All right. So, anyways. Uh, All right. So, uh, so, uh, what what inspires you to write music with uh, these guys? Uh, like, how do you come up with the lyrics? Well, first of all, I love the music. Um, uh, what? Um, how I come up with the lyrics? Yeah, it's just basically how I'm feeling at the time, or what I feel I need to talk about. You know. Um. You know. Um. I come up with writing about a whole bunch of different stuff, whether it's personal stuff or things going on in the world or, you know, things like that. Going on with our friends, um, our family. Um, yeah, I don't usually write about that. Where you are. Well, but we had we had peripheral, it was about a friend of ours. It, it, was, uh, about, it was about a friend um, who's... Had a roommate who, who was... Junkie. Right, yeah. I didn't. Oh, Jung, yes, Jung. Yeah. Yes. 
And the guy's name was Dirk. And if he's watching this... Demon eyes! You, Dirk. Dirk McGurk? Yeah, dude. I don't know if that's in his actual name, but Dirk Others. McGurk sounds better. <laughs> Other songs are just about inspiration and life. Another car. And an ambulance and some other cars. <laughs> Playing the agenda, it's a uh, rock, metal, hip hop. Man, that guy is getting out of the way because of the uh, police. Anyway, we're, we're, back, we're, back, like, we're back in here. I don't even think my face is properly in tune. It's probably like, <laughs> oh, 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 when I answer these questions, when next. I'm pointing it at myself. All right, next, next question, bro. All right, so, yeah. um, let's see, uh, Zach, yeah. you ask everyone who has the worst farts in the group. So, yeah. let's be candid right now. Do you really have the worst farts in this group? I would say I do, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I think I do. I'm, I'm gonna say straight up. I know my own farts, and they're terrible. Sure. Yeah. All right. I think Jared comes in second. Mine smell like bananas, so... Jared comes in I would, second. I would say Zach's are, are the worst. Wait, Jared right. comes in second. So, um... I eat a lot of bananas. So, let's see. What other questions we got? Oh, tell us about some past bands that you've been in, Zach. Um, well, I was in... I started this little band called My Friend Z in uh, 2010. It lasted till uh, August 2011. 11 um it was a it's pretty good i mean we we were mostly a cover band we started out trying to be like a metal band and that sounded terrible it sounded like sounded like crap and uh we had one original because or no we had two originals one that we played live and the rest were covers because we didn't really know how to make original music especially not like black hair you know so word all right, I think I got another question. Uh, what did both you guys think about when Tracy joined the group? Considering, you know, we got Tracy's viewpoint of what he thought of Zach and what he thought, I think, of us when he, he joined the group. Uh, Jared, let's start with you. I think Tracy thought um, we, were, we were a little unrefined. Um, and he had been in bands that had opened for Green Day. And so he, uh, he was... He was a little out of his element after coming out of the military, but when he found black hair, um, we really established ourselves within a matter of four or five months. Um, our sound, kind of a metal grunge um, genre, and people have been labeling it as Oregon rock. And uh, yeah, we, we like we like that title. So, um, Your turn, Zach. Oh, uh, when I first met Tracy, I was like kind of nervous, like. You know, like, is there certain things that will, you know, piss them off that I need to be aware about, you know? <laughs> and it's kind of, it's kind of like, you know, it took me a while to get, you know, I've always, people have always been like, oh, you're so good and stuff. But to have someone actually come in and critique me and say you need to work on this, work on this, it took a while to get used to, but I'm, I'm finally used to it now, and I know it's for the better, so... That's how it works now. I uh, I personally like Tracy's uh, pretty straightforward attitude and his uh, this is what's wrong, now let's get this shit done kind of thing. And he's really, really determined and really straightforward. And I like how he says, you know, he wouldn't be promoting us or doing as much if he didn't believe in all of us. So, like, knowing, like, before I really knew that about Tracy, I was, you know, a little hesitant. Kind of like, well, this guy's pretty... <laughs> kind of like you know it's pretty intense but uh you know it, it all turns out for the best because he's an awesome awesome guy so it's true. that's what yeah that's what i was thinking um so anyway back to zach so we covered what got you started in music what you thought about us the question of all questions of who has the best farts and then uh what we thought about you thought about us about Tracy, uh, what kind of plans do you think you you'd want for Black Hair and stop touching your junk? Sorry, it's. it's... Um, but anyway, oh. what kind of what kind of things do you you want to happen with Black Hair? Like a year from now, six months from now, ten years from now? 
Well, I'd say we're just we're just working on some new songs, and they're awesome. And um, you know, whenever the second CD comes out, whenever that may be, maybe a year from now, maybe you know, like n nine months from now, I think it's gonna be definitely something to look forward to. It's gonna be something new, but it's gonna be I'd I'd say definitely better. Better, 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 better. Yeah. Like, uh, what kind of songs we got working? What are some of the, the in-working titles that we got? We got uh, Black Sea. We got... A.K.A. Sanctified. Yeah, Sanctified is what it was. I think it may be Black Sea now. It could still be Sanctified. I'll have to figure that out. Uh, then we got Turn On The Lights. Um, so Society is a song we've had for a while, but we're still taking our time and working on it because, you know, we want it to be awesome. What else we got? Uh, let's see. We got Bang Bang. We're not bang, sure bang, if we're going to keep doing that. We got, uh, I think, Perdition's Castle uh -huh. we're working on. Um, just got a couple. Yeah, couple right. coming. Now, I guess another question is, tonight we kind of noticed some, like, some trepidation about letting an under-21 ager perform in a bar what what, what do you kind of feel when or what do you feel when you're usually at a bar when you're not you know allowed in because it's it's pretty pretty common you know it's a little mm -hmm. it's a safety thing for the bar and for right. us and everybody you know what do you what do you think about when you're outside and waiting to perform what do i think about when i'm outside and waiting to perform yeah um well pretty much what goes on in my mind before a show is what i'm gonna do during a show <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty much what goes on in my mind. Um, I I used to you know stress and be like nervous and all that, but I've gotten a lot better at that because I mean, we've done tons of shows now, so I'm I'm used to it. It's kind of like my job, you know. Awesome. Awesome. So and every single time I'm done playing a show, like no matter what. I feel like I've accomplished something each and every single time, you know? Yeah. So, that's what I love about playing shows, and, you know? Awesome. Awesome. Oh, all right. Gosh. All right. All right. Uh, so, uh, if I start speaking like this, will you just start laughing more and more? Yeah, absolutely. All right. All right. <laughs> yeah. All right. All right. I'm Mr. Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> Behind the camera. Yeah, brah. Hey, yeah. Yeah. I got one accent and use it all the time. All right. Um, so anyway, well, uh, what did you want to, like, you know, you never know who's going to be watching. What would you want to say to anyone who's watching this and, like, it's like, oh, this is a cool band. They're not, you know, super well known yet. And what would you say about, like, being in a band and forming a band and doing things? Um, I'd say with being in a band... It's really all about the passion, you know? You gotta have the passion for it. If you're doing it for money, I'd say don't even, you know, don't mess with it. It's don't not, even bother kind of thing. It's not worth it, you know? You gotta have that passion. Because, you know, at first, when you're a small band, not even signed, you know, <laughs> you might be making $20 at a show a piece at the most, you know? Yeah. So you got you got twenty dollars a piece, like split five, four or five ways. Yeah, and and you, you gotta do it for the love, you know. It's all about the love. <laughs> now, now when it comes to like inner between band members, what you know, how should like other people view talking with their band members and keep in mind when they you know they propose an idea? I think yeah, just telling them what you feel. Um, really keeps a healthy relationship with the band, you know. Like, I'll admit, when I first joined uh, joined Black Hair, I was, I was kind of like, okay, do whatever James and Jared say because, you know, they know how to make good music and, you know, just listen to them. Uh, now I'm starting to realize, you know, when I throw in, I'm thinking this and I want this idea and, you know, I don't really like that. It, it, it's all definitely for the better, you know, so. Yeah. 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 Now I want you to look at the camera a little bit. Wait, let me find that right glare. No, oh yeah, look over here a little bit. From yeah, right there. And be like demon eyes. Demon eyes. But like do it. Wait, right here. And then growl demon eyes. Demon eyes. 
Oh, no, keep looking over here when you do it. Damn it, eyes! <laughs> because you got some nice uh, red eye going on right there. <laughs> now, if you want to throw that in, you know, whenever, when if you mix it or something. I will. I all will right, all right. So, uh, I think we're done. I think we're done. Wait, it was either fucking...